two weeks ago, I uploaded a speed reviews video of a bunch of makeup that I had acquired and tried in December, January, and February. And in that video, I promised you all a standalone review of this product. This is the Rouge Powder Lip Palette in the shade Signature. So here is how this review is going to go. First up, I'm gonna do live hand swatches just really quickly of all four shades so you can see them in line next to each other. Then I'm gonna talk you through performance, quality, packaging, my sort of thoughts and observations after using these products in different ways. And throughout me talking through those kind of features, I am also going to play a little bit of footage of me actually applying these products. Now, I applied all four shades separately to my face in four different monochromatic looks. And by that, I mean not only did I put them on my lips, but I also applied them to my cheek as a blush and to my eye as an eyeshadow. I did that because the Rouge website suggests using these powders as more than just a lip powder. Of course, it's marketed as a lip palette, but because they're a powder product, theoretically, they should be able to be applied to other places on the face as well. There is no specification on their website or on the packaging on whether or not these are eye safe. So of course, use your own best judgment, but I applied them so that you can see it on my lips, cheeks, and eyes for all four shades. So while I'm talking through performance, color selection, quality, etc., you'll be seeing some of that footage as I speak. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. I'm gonna swatch them like the little quads. So I'll swatch them like this as if the quad is on my hand. <laughs> so first up is the light peachy shade. There is one layer and now just building it up a little bit. Of course, it's the lightest shade in the palette. So it's not going to get super deep or pigmented here. Next up, we have the True Red. There is one swatch. And here it is built up. Next up is the red that occurs right below the pink. It's the warmer tone of the two reds and the warmer tone of the two deep shades on that bottom row. So there's one layer. And here's another layer and you can really start to see the difference between this true blue red up here and the slightly deeper, more bricky, more berry red down on the bottom. And then last but not least, the deeper berry tone with a cooler undertone. There is one layer. And with that second layer, you can see it really start to build. I am going to build up the peach shade just a tiny bit more to give it a little more oomph next to its deeper friends here. And there you go, there is the quad. So let me hold it up next to each other. So there you can see how each of those shades swatches. I do think they swatch pretty true to color on my skin like this. And of course, in the footage I'm showing you later, you'll see how they swatch on my relatively pigmented lips. So now that we have these little swatches for reference, I'm gonna keep them on my hand just in case as I'm talking through performance quality, et cetera, I want to refer back to them. But let's go ahead and hop into my actual review, my full thoughts here. So first up is the packaging. I was very excited for this packaging. It's sort of a rose gold shade, and I just think it looks really sleek and beautiful. But as soon as it arrived in my house, um, I was a little bit disappointed. It is extremely lightweight plastic packaging. It doesn't feel weighty, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel luxe. I don't mind a plastic package like this in general, but it was a little bit disappointing for a brand that sort of gives off those really beautiful, luxurious vibes to then get this in my hand and it feels like drugstore packaging, honestly. So the packaging, 
a little bit of a disappointment for me. It is really beautiful nonetheless sitting with all of my other lip products. It does spark some joy for me, but as soon as I pick it up, I'm reminded that it is extremely lightweight, cheap plastic, which is just sort of a bummer. The good news is that the product inside is beautiful. I really, really love this formula overall. It is a matte blotted lip formula. So the shade that's on my lips right now is actually this deepest shade, but you can see I'm able to apply it in a nice thin layer and get a really beautiful blotted matte lip look. I adore this look. If I'm going to have something more subtle, more blotted like this, I prefer it in a matte formula. So I like this formula. However, if my lips are not prepped, if I haven't worn a nice lip balm, really gotten myself ready to have a fully matte powder lip on, this can be drying and it can settle into my lines and look really dry. So I have to prep, I have to be prepared to be going in with this very matte powder-based product. But if I do that, I have such a gorgeous result. I love how this looks. And don't let the blotted look fool you. This has incredible staying power. It's not like it's so thin on the lips that it just fades away to nothing instantly. It really does hang around for a long, long time. And as it starts to fade, it fades really gracefully in a really sophisticated way. So this shade will end up leaving behind a tiny, tiny bit of a berry tint to my lips almost like a stain, although I find oftentimes that products that are intended to stain the lips actually turn a really unflattering like hot pink color on me. <laughs> and I like that these give a similar stained sort of effect without changing color as they fade or as they kind of transition into that stain. This stays true to color, it just becomes lighter and it doesn't leave an awkward, gross looking ring either on the inside of my lip or on the outside. So it fades evenly, fades gracefully. I really, really love how these wear and they do last full pigment for a very, very long time as well, hours and hours. The benefit of having this red as well as these two deep shades in this formula in particular is that they do not go anywhere. Because it is a powder, it adheres to my lips really beautifully and it stays put and it fades gracefully. So I have appreciated that, especially with a red. You definitely don't want that running around all over your face all day. So it has been really nice. It never gets on my lip or on my teeth. It never gets outside my lip lines. It's great. My favorite shade, shockingly, is this dark purple. It just really looks so beautiful on my skin. I have a thing where my lips basically take over every single makeup look I do, regardless of like how all out I go on my eyes or my cheeks or wherever else on my face. My lips kind of always come to the forefront unless I make a very active effort to make them blend in and kind of not be the center focus. I have found that this shade here is a really fun way for me to still wear color, still wear something a little bit more bold, not a nude and not a plain pink, nothing like that. It's something a little more interesting without my lips looking so overly done up. Now, although I love them on my lips, you'll see as I'm playing some of this footage back that the deeper shades really do get pretty patchy on me, on my cheeks and my eyes. They're just a little bit too much of a concentrated pigment for my skin tone. They're a little too deep to be applied with like a brush nicely or a finger on my eyes. Uh, they just don't quite work very well. I love all four shades on my lips. I do like the light, light peachy shade, this one here, on my cheeks as well. I didn't like any of them on my eyes. I think they're just a bit too patchy and um, just not quite my taste for eyeshadow formulas. And the deeper shades didn't work great on my cheeks with my skin color, but I think on someone with some deeper skin than mine, some of those deeper shades might appear less patchy, just like the peach appeared less patchy on me. So that is it. All in all, I really, really do love this little lip palette. I think it's a good value if these feel like shades that you will personally enjoy and a formula that you will personally enjoy. I really love it. I know that I will use this for years and years and years to come. And I am so, so excited to keep playing around with it and seeing how this more blotted matte lip look can fit in with some of my go-to makeup styles. Thank you so, so much for watching today and I will see you next time.